Okay, good morning everyone. My name is Jong Hyun Bae from Performance and Algorithm Research Group. Today I'm going to talk about my research, which is uh, performance analysis for data loading on in-memory distributed data storage with varying multiple communication methods. And this work is done with my colleagues in Oak Ridge National Lab and Rares Berkeley National Lab. Okay, uh, modern scientific applications are leveraging the potential of machine learning and artificial intelligence to accelerate their scientific discovery. This trend is prevalent in multiple scientific domains, such as the drug discovery, or catalysis design, antibody engineering, or etc. Uh, for instance, a graph neural network is now used for chemical compounds or chemical modeling simulations problem instead of physics-based computational approach. In this case, each molecules are represented into small graph structures and used it as an input of GNN trainings. However, in these scientific applications, IO is regarded as a notable bot performance bottleneck. The reason is that each sample size is very small, and each sample varies in size, so that is the reason of the it is, it is hard to fully utilize the performance of storage systems. And furthermore, because of the stochastic gradient descent, which is the most famous DNA training method, the reading operations for mini batches are randomly shuffled before each training iterations. As a result, the memory distributed storage have become prevalent in which all or parts of data set are loaded onto the local memory of each compute node. Uh, because using this approach, process can fetch data with low latency and high throughput. And furthermore, because of the chip DRAM and fast network with InfiniBand enables the memory distributed storage with high scalability. <coughs> Sorry. A recent HPC environments have compute node with hundreds of gigabytes of DRAM on each node, so which means that it is sufficient for most ML and AI applications to load their, to keep their whole data on memory and avoid the disk storage access. And to fetch the data from remote memory locations, the control, the communication layer of in-memory distributed storage needs to provide the data plane and the control mechanism. A common way of implementing a communication layer of in-memory distributed storage is to rely on the message passing paradigm using a famous libraries like an MPI or ZeroMQ. And there are two ways to load data from remote memory using a, a communication layer of in-memory distributed storage. The first method is one-sided communication, and the other one is a collective communication. The, one, the basic idea of one-sided communication is to decouple the data movement with the process synchronization. The origin process can obtain the data from the target process memory region without the requiring the target process participation asynchronously. On the other hand, the collective communication involves a scattering or gathering data from multiple processes simultaneously. However, a critical thing about collective communication is that it implies a synchronization to start the pro to, to, pro to start processing the execution of the pro process. Therefore, because of the potential of the high performance, the most in-memory distributed storage prefer the one-sided communication rather than collective communication. Uh, however, the data loading performance of the two communication methods depending on the multiple factors in scientific ML and AI applications, like a mini batch size, and the scale of training applications in terms of the number of process or number of GPUs, and the type of network and its network bandwidth capability of the computing resources. This heat map illustrates the how, how fast one of the two communication methods is using the two-dimensional evaluations on the parameter and NERSC. The darker the green, the faster the collective communication achieved rather than the one-sided communication, and conversely for the red. As shown in the figures, when the model is trained using a small, small number of GPUs and large number of mini-batch, which is the left below region in this heat map, 
the collective communication achieves much higher performance rather than the one-sided communication. Uh, however, when the number of as the number of GPUs increases, the performance, com the performance com difference between the two communication methods gradually decreases. And finally, as the number of GPUs are larger than the 1,000 1, GPUs or more, the one-sided communication overtakes the collective communication even if the minibus size is large. Then let's see some special toy examples why the performance trends are looks like that. The first scenario is the model is trained using large mini batch size and small number of GPUs. In this case, 128 mini batch size and 32 GPUs. In this case, the one-sided communication requires more tr communication transactions as the mini batch size. For instance, to fetch 128 samples within a mini batch, 128 one-sided transactions are required. And it, this is a performance penalty at a low concurrency level. On the other hand, the collect in the collective communication, uh, the collective communication is likely to push fewer but larger communication transactions than the one-sided communication. And it means that until the total amount of data to be exchanged is less than the network bandwidth capability, the collective communication can achieve much higher performance than the one-sided communication due to its high parallelism. And let's see the opposite scenario using a small number of mini batch size and large number of GPUs. In this case, one-sided communication requires only a few number of transactions, and it means that the data loading is finished much earlier than before. However, the collective in the collective communication, Using too many GPUs generate a preparation overhead before starting the communication, and also there's a synchronization overhead. Therefore, the one-sided communication is much better than the collective communication. Unfortunately, in realistic cases, there are various training set environments, such as the various number of mini-batch size and number of GPUs and network settings in real training environments and scientific applications then how can we know a most suitable communication method for a given training environment? So currently, we propose the performance model that can predict the one-sided communication and collective communication performance for a given training environment. And to use this model in real scientific AI and ML applications, we design a new data loading system and new training system with performance model that can select the suitable communication method between one-sided communication and collective communication method. So this figure illustrates the communication method selection accuracy based on the performance model, whether between the two communication methods. The left to heat map is the, is the same heat map that I shown in the previous pages, and right to heat map is the result of the estimation by the performance model. The black box means that performance model makes a wrong decision. Uh, as a result, the performance model achieves a 96% correctness on average on parameter and summit. Uh, the wrong selections are only are cases whether the performance difference between the two communication methods is less than the 10%. And this result provides an intuition that our performance model can select a suitable communication method accurately with a reasonable accuracy. In the future work, we can make a more accurate performance model easily, can be plugged easily into the development of our framework, and also current model is only focused on the graph neural networks, and we are trying to make the other network models, like on large language models or some image-based convolution networks. In summary, the memory distributed storage prefer the one-sided communication because, the, because of their potential of high performance. However, depending on the training environment, like a mini-batch size, number of GPUs, and network topology, collective communication can achieve a much higher performance than the one-sided communication. In our research, we make a hybrid data loader to, can, to select the suitable communication method between the two communication methods. Thank you for the listening.